When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. We put the fan at the center of every decision we make. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so, like, loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. This is just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is special because we've really unlocked this new capability to connect with the characters and worlds in a way that no previous generation has allowed. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, where we are, this course is Corvus Wasty coming to you from doing an E3 moment of the Xbox Scarlet, or Xbox Project Scarlet, whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, okay, so the Xbox Scarlet, um, Project Scarlet, Xbox Project Scarlet, whatever, it was revealed at uh, E3. Um, now, uh, I believe it was either 2017 or 2018, they revealed that they were working on this system. Um, and this is the next generation. It's sort of like the Xbox version of PlayStation 5. Um, some of the things that we know right now is the guts of this system 
is the hardware is just massive. Um, they're thinking they're saying that it's going to include 8K resolution support, uh, solid state drive um, that also the PlayStation 5 has, uh, faster loader times, frame rates as high as 120 frames per second. Uh, real-time ray tracing, all that stuff. They talked about there's going to be, um, sorry, my cat Raven's over here kind of annoying me. <laughs> um, they said that there's going to be um, backwards compatibility, but they haven't really gone into detail about that, so we're not sure exactly how that's going to work. Um, they're going to come out with Game Pass Ultimate, which some of you might have already seen the Game Pass Ultimate. Um, that's going to include the Xbox Live Gold, the Game Pass, and the new Game Pass for PCs that they're working on. Um, and it's going to be $14.99 a month. So, I mean, if you take the Game Pass, which I think is like, I want to say, well, I have my Xbox on. I can just kind of look at it real quick. I believe that the uh, Game Pass is... Give me a second. I'm just looking at it real quick. $9.99 a month for the Game Pass. And then the gold is roughly about eight, nine, eight to ten bucks itself. Um, so right there, you've got almost $20. And then you add the Game Pass for PCs, which is probably going to be another ten bucks a month. That's thirty bucks. So instead of paying thirty, you're paying half for all three at once, which is $14.99 a month, um, which isn't too bad of a deal. You know what else isn't too bad of a deal? Paying five, ten bucks a month to the Patreon, which is down in the description below. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, at the beginning of this, you saw a video that was one of the videos that was at E3, um, all about the Xbox uh, Project Scarlet, um, explaining it all. It's supposed to come out holiday season of 2020, so not this holiday season but next holiday season it's supposed to come out so if you're going to get it you might want to save up your money put money to the side and be prepared um hopefully one of us on the channel will get it and we'll do a uh, unboxing of the system um i'm trying to save up some money now for it myself um once i get some stuff in real life taken care of i'm going to start setting some money aside so hopefully i'll be able to do a uh but we'll be able to do an unboxing of the system and what I'll probably do is while I'm doing the unboxing I'll probably have uh, or whoever is doing it they'll have the other people on um, discord so that you can hear us all talking together um, live streams coming back don't worry about that um, so yeah it it seems like it's gonna be an okay thing um, they have not mentioned a price um, but if you think about it, the uh, Xbox One X came out around $499, roughly. Um, so with the hardware that they've got in the system, they kind of are going to probably use that to jack the price up a little bit. But I think what they're honestly going to do is wait for the PlayStation 5 price to be revealed and then go from there. Because if you remember last year, PlayStation waited for Xbox um Sony waited for Microsoft to announce the price and backwards compatibility and all that. And all of a sudden they were like, well, we've got it for $100 cheaper. We've got backwards compatibility. We got this. We got that. And I guarantee you there are people at Sony running back to try and get backwards compatibility built into everything. Um, it says extensive backwards compatibility, but we're not 100% sure because, like I said, they didn't really push too many points about that now they're gonna have to do stuff like uh fortnite pubg all the other battle royals that's gonna have to be accessible on this new system because a lot of you guys love it i mean i hear it all the time why don't we do pub why don't we do battle royales we don't do battle royales because it's just not our thing um but yeah but they're gonna have to have that that has got to be done there's no know nothing about that um there's no way around backwards compatibility nowadays um because there's so many games that have come out there's a lot of you that play division two i know a few youtubers that do division two and uh 
the Division 2 is uh, going to need to be backwards compatibility, Call of Duty games, uh, Battlefield 5 is going to need to be um, on there, Black Ops 4 is going to need to be on there, it's backwards compatibility. They've got a lot of things they need to backwards compatible. Ark Survival Evolved is going to have to be a backwards compatibility game because that is still a huge game. Um, ours is coming back. Uh, we're going to do a new season. Um, we're trying to figure out if we can get into the uh, old cluster or if that one's pretty much dead and we need to find a new cluster or not. Um, so if you know any clusters on the Xbox that are looking for, uh, that wouldn't mind us YouTubing on it, let us know, man. Um, they got to have a lot of maps, though, um, that we can transfer back and forth to get dinos and stuff to really, you know, mix it up. Um, yeah, so it seems like it's going to be a good thing. But again, I'm not going to hold my breath because last time they did, um, the Xbox One, they really started to screw the pooch on it a little bit, and uh, PlayStation actually, for the first, at least the first six months that I can remember, um, PlayStation overtook Xbox, and there were more PlayStation sold than the Xboxes at the first six months that those two systems were going at it. Um, so I think what it is, is they're both kind of holding back, waiting for the other one. And eventually one of them's going to have to break and one of them's going to have to say, okay, well, here's the info. So that's everything that I know so far and that we've looked up and we've gotten the information about. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. We will look for those. We will look for the answers. We will call a couple people we know. We'll try and find the answer for you. If we can't find the answer for you at that time, we'll put something like, we'll, we'll let you know when we find it type thing. All right. So for... Myself, Corey Biswasti, that you know is Corey, and Sergeant Grumbles the Third, Cody Vane, the voice of insanity, and the crow and fly, we'd all just like to say, later days, peeps. Shut up and sit down.